Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back. It's Sunday evening, a couple of hours to market open. And as always, if I always say, if this is your first time on my YouTube, thank you for being here. Simply um, do me one favor and just uh, click on the like button as well as the notifications bell. Um, so that in case I do post any future videos, you get updated stat. Um, but that being said, for those who have been tuning in, thank you as well. And today I'm going to start with gold because I just opened my trading view and I landed on gold as I'd left it on Friday. And this is on the four hour chart. Um, and to me, gold is looking, um, you know, interesting. I feel like we are going to you know start seeing i mean i had marked this last week and i think um the way i've marked it out still stands i still feel like you know gold could push up a bit but continue down i was bearish last week i'm still kind of bearish this week um why because i feel like there's a lot of liquidity below here okay so uh what happened last week is gold actually pushed up on friday was it on friday yes and then took out this previous high and then began its descent. So what I'm assuming is going to happen is she's going to push up uh, maybe to 1790-1800 level and then or 1799 level and then continue on its way down. So that's what I'm anticipating for gold. I don't even know if I need to look at the weekly time frame. For me right now, things are still looking bearish on the weekly. Um, Similarly, on the daily, I mean, we can see the rejection that happened on the daily. Like I said, we um, this Friday candle took out, um, I think it was Wednesday high, um, Tuesday high, um, and then started pushing lower. Although we can see a bit of, you know, we did close bearish, but there was a, like a sign that we were trying to push up. But I feel like the market will still push lower because, guys, like I said, we have some equal lows below here i'm feeling like you know um we are just bearish we I, I would want to see us take out this liquidity then push up but then again you know we'll see what happens when the market opens so that is gold i want to quickly go to another pair and that would be euro i look at let's say let me look at a gbp pair first gbp usd um and we can see how the week ended for gu again very bearish um took out previous days low um took out liquidity below here we may see some you know um this is a bearish engulfing candle but we may see some you know push to the upside um let's see what the daily is telling me and um you know, and that's what I'm thinking that, you know, there's a bit of a rejection here and we may see um, price possibly, actually we've already retested that zone. So um, the way I'm seeing it is, this, this was probably, yeah. Actually, we are looking bearish on GU as well, still. Still looking kind of bearish. Um, but then we see this uh, bullish engulfing um, candle, um, you know, so, you know, we could begin to see a push up, you know, but I'm like, okay, this rejection candle may show some, you know, some continuation to the upside, but really, um, when I look at it, guys, maybe, um, let me look at the eight hour. Yeah, uh, guys, I'm still thinking there's room for GU to print lower, okay? Um, but in case we do start a bullish move, I would only be confident that the trend has really changed once we surpass the 1.35078 um, level, okay? Um, for now, whatever happens in between, I'm just feeling like we may just continue to push lower. Um, but of course, this rejection here is showing that, like the buyers wanted to come into the market and begin to drive the price up. I'm just not sure it's ready just yet. I probably want to see how the market opens and how the London session tomorrow does or goes. 
Um, so, but let me look at GBP, JPY. Usually, um, yeah, so we see what's happened here. GU, GJ, rather, you know, just like GU closed bearish. Um, actually, G, 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 you closed bullish, um, which it was a rejection, but we're also seeing a rejection on um, GJ. But GJ to me is looking way more bearish. Um, so I feel like we may see a continuation lower before we see any moves to the upside. Okay, um, that's just my take. Um, and even if we do see a retracement, we'll probably see something like this. I'm just looking for my. We'll probably see a movement like, you know, push up and then push lower. That's really what I'm seeing, then we'll possibly push up. But I'm still bearish on GJ. Let me just look at GBP CAD. I also like to trade it. Um, so GBP CAD is looking quite the opposite um, of GU and GJ, um, which is understandable. I feel like we may, because of, you know, we took out liquidity here. So we may actually drop lower. Okay, we may actually drop lower at some point and then continue to the upside. But I feel like because we dropped, we broke this high here, this is actually a sign that of course there's a liquidity grab that is happening. Um, you know, because we tried, we also took out this previous highs and then we may then see a, a, a push now uh, beginning to the downside before we see any move to the upside. So I'm like, we still, I still would want to see a retest before we push up. We may alternatively just bust through and continue onwards, but then I feel like we end up leaving a lot of um, by uh, a really interesting demands on here that needs to be tested. Okay, so on market open, I'm anticipating will uh, possibly retrace, um, and then you know however long that takes. I mean, let me look at the weekly. Um, yeah. I feel like there may be a slight retest, although the weekly is looking very bullish. Like if I look at the weekly right now, looking very bullish. If I look at the daily, similarly very bullish. Um, but for me, I'm just like, we've just taken out liquidity. So even if we push up, we still need to push lower and then uh, continue the rally up nicely. So that's my take. So let me look at AUD um, USD. Closed extremely bearish, okay, both on the weekly and the daily. And um, that just may be it, you know. And this is, if you see my markings from last week, this was actually my anticipation, okay. I, this arrow here can show you. I anticipated that AUD would push lower and then push up. And why was I saying that? Because there was a really, really um, uh, 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 demand zone here. With a lot of sell side liquidity and that sell side liquidity needs to be mitigated and so for me i was like take out these previous lows and then maybe we can begin to see the push up so AUD usd is still looking um bullish sorry bearish um we see the same thing with aud jpy we took out liquidity so i'm just looking at okay maybe we'll retest this zone and then continue before we see any kind of move back to the upside. Okay, we are in this sideways range. Um, we broke structure here and then we pushed up. So this was just a liquidity grab and then we, we pushed up, took out liquidity and then began our descent. And then we saw last week, whatever happened in the news on Friday, um, a very strong bearish drive. Now, this for me signifies a continuation to the downside, but what you may see is you know, a retest, okay, of the break of structure level and then continuation lower, okay? So that's AUD JPY. Let me look at US 30. Same drill, okay, dropped. So we will, we might see the market um, push up or you may just see a really, you know, this is US 30. You may see a really massive drop before we see the retest. Um, but I'm like, okay, I'll wait and see what happens. Um, maybe if I go on the lower time frame, we can anticipate actual moves. So there is a possibility that we may actually just continue until the 34.479 zone on market open. But I feel like we will need to retest the break of structure level and then continue on to the downside. So I'm bearish on US 30. 
Um, let me look at a Euro pair, Euro, I really look at Euro USD. I rarely trade it, but always good to have a look at it. So Euro USD has been bearish for a very long time. Um, we can see that on the weekly as well. And what I see here is we just rejected a demand zone. So I'm seeing like we'll be, we might open the, the market a bit bullish, okay? And probably retest the one point um, by 15084 zone before we continue downside. So long term we are bullish, but you know, just because we got to a demand zone and took out liquidity, I feel like now we may begin to see a push to the upside. Um, so let me look at Euro AUD. Guys, don't mind where I am. It's um there's a bit, there might be some background noise from the kids playing outside. So please bear with that. Now with Euro AUD, we are definitely looking bullish. I feel like we still will continue to be upside, okay? And this actually just confirms my bearish bias on AUD USD, right? Um, so yes, Euro AUD, I feel like we want to kind of take out some previous highs here at 1.64401. So I'm anticipating the market will close higher. So possibly in a lower time frame, we want to do a retest and then a continuation up, but Generally, I'm bullish on Euro AUD, Euro CAD, um, possibly looking bullish as well. We took out um, liquidity here, we broke structure, and now we are just looking bullish, guys. So this to me looks like we'll retest this zone maybe and then drop, or we may just push up and take out liquidity up here. But for now, my nearest target would be 1 1.48031. So that's EuroCAD. Maybe I can look at EuroJPY. And then we are done. Yeah, so EuroJPY looking bearish, okay? Um, looking bearish and you can see, you know, for the last couple of weeks, we've just been dropping, dropping, dropping. And last week we closed bearish. We did take out liquidity, okay? We did take out liquidity here. So yes, we are... We may be at a demand zone, but I feel like you know there's potential to push lower. There's potential to push lower and possibly come and reach us before we continue to the downside. But then again, as well, there's potential to reject because right now we are in a very strong demand zone. So Euro JPY will be watching it. Um, I won't be surprised if we actually just break through. But if we break through, there'll be a retest. I'll probably want to enter on the retest to continue down. Um, so I'll probably not just jump into Euro JPY immediately the market opens. I wouldn't advise that. I would advise just to wait and see what happens because we are at a very strong demand zone. Um, but looking bearish, looking quite bearish. Um, but because just the way this candlestick closed, um, we may, this could just be a liquidity grab and we may see price continue onwards to the upside. Okay. So, I mean, that's it, guys. For today, for this evening, I really hope this analysis um, has been helpful to your own and may add to your own analysis um, as you're looking at the week this week. And I wish you guys all the best and see you soon. Please like, guys, please subscribe. And if you think somebody can benefit from this um, video, feel free to share it to them. Thank you, guys, and see you soon. Bye.